The Cherry Blossom Festival officially has a brand new queen. The festival is one of Hawaii's longest continually running ethnic celebrations that helps preserve Japanese culture. Contestants learn about their Japanese heritage and develop leadership skills through more than half a year of training and cultural classes. And joining us now live is Samantha Keolani Marumoto, crowned the 71st Cherry Blossom Festival Queen. First of all, congratulations and thank you so much for being in studio with us. We're so excited to have you here. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. So, you know, we just want to talk story with you and tell us what does it mean to be crowned Cherry Blossom Festival Queen? It is an absolute honor. I think since the festival ball happened last week, Myself, my court, and my fellow contestants have been overflowing with gratitude because, like you said, we've been on this journey since September, and it's, you know, the culmination of all of our hard work. It, it just feels like, yeah, I'm just so grateful. Very well deserved. So talk about, you know, you, you mentioned your journey, seven months, right? So what did you do to get up to this point? So when we first start out, we're doing cultural classes with each other, things from ikebana to origami, learning how to make manju, doing various martial arts like aikido, kendo, karate, and you know, through our relationships with each other and what we learn through our cultural classes, we're able to find a deeper connection with our heritage and it makes it so much easier to share that love with the community and to perpetuate Japanese culture. Right, and and so since you've been crown queen, talk about what it's been like <laughs> since then. What have you been up, up to? It's been very busy, but so much fun. Um, we have a relationship with sister chapters in Japan and you know they come here for the festival, so it's been a lot of bonding and establishing meaningful connections with them so that we can um, foster that moving forward. Um, but we also have sister festivals in California like San Francisco and then Nisei Week in Los Angeles. So we've also been getting to know them and we're gonna see them pretty soon. So it's been really fun. Very amazing that you're making connections really around the world. And so what are the next steps that you're gonna be taking as queen? Um, as a as queen and with my court, um, we are going to be putting together some community service projects, and I think that's what we're most looking forward to, kind of giving back to our community together, um, because that's what's been so supportive up until this point. And talk about the the Cherry Blossom Festival itself. What makes it so unique and so different from other types of festivals? I think the emphasis on professional development, and you know, it truly is an ethnic cultural festival. So we learn over the course of six, seven months what's so important about Japanese culture and why mm -hmm. we should perpetuate that and share that with generations to come. And even for me, like with, I have younger siblings and it's been so fun sharing this experience with them um, so that we can, you know, kind of create new family traditions together. Oh, so amazing. And you're making a lot of people proud. And finally, what kind of legacy do you hope to leave? I want to be remembered as someone who did everything they could to give back to the people who are responsible for me being here today. Um, I, I don't think I would have been able to do it without my family, my friends, my fellow contestants, the, the HJJCC, so um, I just want to be as generous as possible with my time. Well, it sounds like you are definitely getting off to a good start with that. So, Samantha Morimoto, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. And again, congratulations, the newly crowned Cherry Blossom Festival Queen. Marissa, back to you.